Hi, my name is Alex and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be cooking for you guys. A lot of you guys have asked why I stopped doing my cooking content. I stopped simply because I really don't like the shape of my kitchen but you know what I'm just gonna go for it and show you guys what I eat because like I said before my YouTube channel is all about health and fitness and lifestyle so today I'm cooking quinoa quinoa is one of the world's most popular health food it's actually also classified as a superfood the reason is because quinoa is gluten free high in protein and one of the few plant foods that contains sufficient amount of all nine amino acids it's also high in fiber magnesium b vitamins iron potassium calcium vitamin e and various beneficial antioxidants. When I cook, I love my food to look colorful, presentable, and actually delicious. I've already prepared all the items that will be going into making my quinoa recipe today. As you can see, I've already prepared all my recipes. I have 400 grams of cannellini beans, I also have about the same amount, 400 grams of green peas. I have my chicken here, the main ingredient, quinoa and vegetable stock cubes. I would only be using one of the vegetable stock cubes. I also have prepared my salad. So this salad has cucumber, as carrots, lettuce, peppers, everything. So let's start cooking. For my chicken, because I like it to be reduced fat, I always steam my chicken. I just add water, add onions, add garlic, add a bit of chili powder, add a bit of oregano, and there you go i just steam that until it's cooked tender enough for me to um, use usually depending on the quantity of chicken i'm steaming it could take me up to half an hour to get my chicken cooked for my quinoa i add my quinoa to a pan I rinse the quinoa until the water starts running clear. The quantity of water you use to cook your quinoa depends on the amount of quinoa you're cooking. The instruction says add 180 ml of water to each 60 gram of quinoa. But from experience, I just go with try and error. If I think the quinoa is not cooked enough, I just simply add a bit more water. After I add the quinoa, I add the beans straight away. After the beans, I add the vegetable stock cube. And I let that to cook. You notice I have not added my peas. It's because I do not want the peas to be too cooked. So I usually add the peas right at the end before I remove the quinoa. Once the quinoa is cooked, you set it aside for it to cool down. After leaving the quinoa for a good 10 minutes for everything to cool down, you can now start serving your meal. You can decide to present your meal in two different ways. You can present it with everything left separately. So you can see the vegetables, you can see the quinoa, and you can see the um, chicken breast. Or you could mix everything together to have that salad kind of vibe and look. I prefer having it look like a salad because I'm lazy and I can't be bothered cutting things up when I sit down to eat. So I 
personally always keep them all mixed together. This is the most healthy meal I know so far. It's low in fat, high in protein, you know, decent amount of uh, vitamins and nutrients, amino acids, you name it. This is a super food. So please try it at home and let me know how you got on. Also let me know if you enjoyed it because personally I think the taste is well I don't like to blow my own trumpet but I think it's a good dish. So let me know if you enjoyed it and let me know if you want me to do more of my cooking content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.